Hello and welcome to another Digimedia Pros tutorial. I'm your host, Marcella Lewin. Today, I'd like to welcome James K. Crouch, a narrative and documentary film editor based in Austin, Texas. His credits include the feature film The Teller and the Truth and the AT&T DirecTV documentary Road to ACL. James, welcome to the Digimedia Pros tutorial series. Thank you, Marcelo. Appreciate you having me. Today you will be showing us how to do a 5.1 audio mix in Premiere Pro CC. So that's really cool because I've never done that. I always do just a regular stereo mix. So I'm, I'm personally looking forward to this. Yeah, so a tutorial that I have not found on the internet whatsoever. And um, I think people uh, deserve to know it and uh, because it's very common to... Uh, to put out a 5.1 mix, mix ProRes file when you're delivering to, say, a network or a film festival these days. But before we get into the tutorial, why don't you tell us a little bit about your filmmaking background? How did you get into doing what you do? Sure. I, I'm uh, 27 years old. I've been in the film industry for only three years. I uh, went to business school, and it wasn't really doing it for me, and I've always been a film addict and fanatic and um, I never thought I could actually make a living in the industry. So uh, I made a point to just try something and if it didn't work out I'd you know go back to something in the business world. But um, I, uh, I was at school at St. Edwards University in Austin, Texas and um, someone just showed me this program. Um, it was Premiere and um, I just you know just fell in love with it. I fell in love with, with editing. and. Um, Austin does have a film community. It is a small community, but there are a lot of filmmakers, a lot of indie filmmakers. There are the big big boys like Robert Rodriguez, Linklater, Terrence Malick. Um, but there is a community here that I am able to make a living. Fortunately, I don't have to go to the uh, big two cities, uh, say like New York or L.A. I met a local filmmaker uh, who had done a few documentaries and um, he took me in and kind of showed, showed me the ropes. I didn't go to film school. I uh, just you know went to the school of YouTube and I read books and I've worked extremely hard over the past few years and uh, I, uh, I'm just glad I'm able to do what I love uh, in my hometown that I grew up in. What kind of projects are you currently working on? Um, there's a couple. Uh, it's not greenlit yet. There may be another documentary on a, a music festival. Is that what you like to focus on, documentaries? I do. I do love uh, documentary uh, film editing, but is it is a different beast compared to uh, narrative film editing. I would say I'm more passionate about narrative film editing. I just love piecing the the takes and the puzzle together. Um, Seems like you are building the, you, you are like almost the writer of the story, right? Because that's documentary versus narrative. And you can have a script or an outline, but it's you're basically building the story in the edit. Now, do you usually work with audio folks or do you do your own audio like you're about to show us? I personally don't mix my own stuff. I do everything to make it, you know, sound as great as possible for the edit and the first cuts and for review and stuff. But I, I stick to one thing and one thing only, and that's editing. I leave everything else, color correction, audio uh, mixing to the professionals. Well, James, looks like you're pretty much ready to get started here. So I'm going to go ahead and let you take over. I'm going to go on mute. And if I have any questions, I'll jump in. So I have my media in here, and your typical 5.1 mix will have six stems. Your left front, right front, center, sub, left surround, and right surround. Usually in that order, there's a couple other ways uh, sound mixers usually deliver that. Um, and then you'll have your final movie or whatever it be, TV show, usually in a ProRes file or uh, DNX HD. Um, so to create a 5-1 mix, I'm just going to go and create a new sequence. Choose whatever your preset is as far as video goes. And then you're going to go to the track menu. And then you are going to add six audio tracks. And in the master tab, you're going to go down to multi-channel. On the number of channels, you're going to increase it to six. Then at the track type, you're going to set each track to mono. Now, as you're doing that, in the master pull-down menu, they also had a 5.1. How come you didn't choose that? Well, this what I initially thought 
to do. And that's what I did when I was delivering um, my show, Rote ACL, to DirecTV and AT&T. I chose 5-1. I made a 5-1 sequence. And I did all these steps. And then once I delivered to AT&T and DirecTV, we failed the QC. And I went to the sound engineer and I was like, hey, you know, the mix is off. And he he's Robert Rodriguez, sound engineer. And he's like, I don't, you know, I, I do, I know what's right. I, I do this all the time. Something's wrong with your, your uh, output file. And so after a lot of testing and trying new things, asking people around town who used Premiere, um, actually came across this one guy who uses Premiere all the time at a finishing company here in town. And he told me to do this and it worked beautifully. So even though it says 5.1, it's best to do it with a multi-channel. Yeah, it, it messed with the audio levels when I did that. It, it changed them and we failed QC and you do not want to fail the QC. You don't. Well, that's good to know. Thanks. All right. And then after you set each track to mono, you're going to map each track track's output assignments. So one and two are going to be at one and two. Audio three and four are going to be at three and four. And five and six are going to be at five and six. So I would put something like five put one mix preset, something like that. And so now you have your sequence. And you're just going to go ahead and lay your video. And then you're going to lay each stem according to the number. So one goes right at the one, track one, two goes on two, and so on. Now you're going to have to open your audio track mixer. I wish I could tell you how this works and why it works, but I'm not an audio professional, but this is the way you do it. You map each, like this is like this is track one, track two, track three, track th four, track five, track six, and we're going to map one and two, negative 100, and 100, which is left and right, and you're going to do that and so on. This is a crucial step. And now you are, have your mono tracks mapped properly. Then you're just going to go ahead and set your in and out points. All right, now that you have your audio, your in point and your out point set, you're just going to go to export your file. I usually set it to uh, ProRes H, uh, HQ422. And you go down to your audio tab go to your output channels you click on 5.1 and whichever uh, way you laid your tracks mine was L R C L F E L S R S my stems click on this 5.1 and each of those correspond to each audio track right so L is 1 R is 2 C is 3 correct and you're gonna export your movie All right. Now that it's finished exporting, I just want to show you the finished file and how you can check if you did your output properly. So you want to double click on your file, open up in QuickTime, and then go to the movie, uh, show movie inspector window. And this little guy will pop up and you want to check your format and see that my uh, format and preset is, is, is right. It's Apple ProRes 422 HQ 1920 by 1080. But this is the important part that it says linear PCM 24 bit little Indian signed integer 48,000 HZ. Here's where your 5.1 mix should be correct. 5.1 and whatever way you laid your tracks should match. So if you would play this in a computer that has 5.1 audio, you would actually... Yeah, someone who actually had a 5.1 speaker set up should hear how the sound engineer laid the mix. And this will also play stereo. You just hear your sound effects 
and you won't hear your music. I can't explain how it does it, but it all combines everything into a stereo mix as well. But it also has a true 5-1. Well, in this tutorial, people got to see how to um, go from five channels into that 5.1 mix. In future tutorials, uh, we'll maybe cover how to actually move the audio around in different channels and position it. But that's for future tutorials. James, I want to thank you for presenting uh, this tutorial today. Very informative. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you for having me. Now, if people want to get a hold of you and learn more about you, how can they do that? Sure, you can shoot me an email at james at roadwings.com or go to roadwings.com. Excellent. Well, thanks again, James. And to the rest of you, please remember to check out more of our tutorials, videos, podcasts, practice assets, and articles at digimediapros.com. So until the next tutorial, I'm your host, Marcelo Lewin. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone.